Yo, what is up guys? So we're here to showcase off the new elemental hero, Solid Man. And uh, guys, one of the cards actually went up over 300% in price, just like over like last night. And that has to be the new uh, combination with Solid Man. When you mass change, you go into Dan. Now this is the card that guys that went up like th over 300%. It's more than tripled in its price. It was like $1.50, $2 here and there. It's like 10 plus dollars. Uh, arguably, uh, so there's some, there are some places still selling it for like seven to eight, but anyways, it's like up 300% all around. Anyways, so it's got to be special summoned by mass change, it can't be special summoned by other ways. And when destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special one level four lower hero monster from your deck, which is an insane effect, obviously, for a hero player. Uh, it's going to be really good because Solid Man gets you back your Shadow Mist, which can activate its effect if it hasn't already activated its effect already. So again, you're able to go straight into Shadow Mist, and then with the new Extra Hero Wonder Driver, you're able to reset your mass change so you can go instantly from here. This is like the, the bread and butter core play, and uh, this is basically why this card has gone up in price. It's to, to use this very specific combo. He's got mass change, he's got refusion, uh, but I'm here to showcase off a few different uh, plays over here to showcase... Uh, different scenarios and uh, how the deck can work. Now, uh, I would run the deck a little bit differently uh, than Leon Senpai over here, but thanks, man. I appreciate you showcasing off a build that's a little bit different. It runs some of the newer stuff that I, I just don't personally like. I think it's a little bit slower. It, uh, it our cards, It's running cards that are a little bit more conjunctional, uh, which we'll get into when we go over the deck profile if you guys want to try out this build. It's a cool build, though. Uh, but anyways, we got the Link Disciple. I really don't know Cybers that well, but usually when people are playing, like, uh, Cybers, they don't really get to do very much. This guy ends up making some stuff, so I don't know. He's a pro MLG Cybers player because uh, he didn't lose one turn. Uh, but we're really here to check out the hero. So he makes the uh, Adoration here. And uh, that's going to be able to reduce the attack of something. But he's going straight into Dark Law. He's going to Regeki the board, but then Encode Talker over there uh, is going to make it so they cannot be destroyed by card effects. And uh, now he's going to get some extra monsters out, courtesy of his soul date. But uh, we got extra hero once again, equipping it. So let's get 300 bonus attack points over here. And he tops back into Realm Cloudy. I, again, I, I really just don't know uh, Cybers, but uh, I wanted to showcase off a few different uh, plays from the deck over here. So I guess this one lets him add it. Let's special summon. He goes straight into Flame Administrator. And uh, it looks like they're just kind of like big beaters, except for that other card that was able to protect him. But he's got a Firewall Dragon. He attacks into the Malicious, but the uh, Destiny or Dreamer is actually going to save him. And it obviously gives him an extra monster too. He special summons um, the Scoldy, and that's going to let him just cycle through some of his cards. And he's now going to go ahead and re-add the Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. It's kind of a card that a lot of people have been running just because it's really easy to add just an extra card. It lets you have another card sometimes for Scoldy to just recycle. And he's going to boost up the Anki for 5,000 attack. And then he's going to go ahead and activate that mass change. And uh, that's a pretty good effect. Um, being able to... Uh, also, you can... Yeah, that's another effect where it can half its attack and like uh, uh, attack directly. Or it attacks directly then the battle damage is in fact, uh, inflicted is half. But overall, pretty cool stuff. Now, the next replay is actually my favorite over here. Because it's up against Gokis. Uh, which is an archetype that I really didn't see anyone like showcase off a really good example of Gokis. Or uh, Gokis. Gokis. My best. I know. I call them Gokis. And you guys got to be like, it's Goki. Alright, it's Gokis. Uh, anyways. So, uh... This Goki player actually goes off pretty hard, as you guys will see over here. There's actually a Goki card, uh, the Link Monster, uh, the Great Ogre uh, over here. So all monsters on the field lose attack equal to the original defense. So basically, Link Monster's got to attack over it. And on top of that, if this card be destroyed by Battle by Card Effect, you can destroy one of your monsters that this card points to instead. So every card, pretty much, that he's going to summon is going to lose uh, a bunch of attack, unless, of course, it's a Link Monster, because... Uh, that's just kind of uh, how links work because they have no defense So he can't really do anything too much over here because again every monster is just gonna have zero stats So he's gonna go ahead and make Scoldy. Scoldy, very popular card I almost feel like uh, Scoldy is just gonna get banned pretty soon I mean too many people are just throwing that like turn one turn two and they just rush to make the card and it's good though I don't blame him. It's, a, it's definitely a great card, but this card is really strong the great ogre uh, just because it's able to uh, protect itself uh, so well. Um, obviously, it needs to uh, point to something, but uh, nonetheless, um, being able to reduce everything uh, by their uh, original defense, I mean, like, half the cards in the hero deck, 
uh, minus even the, the fusions even. I mean, look at them. Like, Dan has 3,000 defense. She would have zero attack if he was to summon it. So he's going to reset his militias over here. He's going to de-draw, and he goes off with his play. Just check this out, guys. So he's going to go ahead and go with Solid Man, summon the Shadow Mist, obviously activating its effect to add one, and uh, go ahead and go for the Extra Hero Wonder Driver, which will actually let him reset a uh, quick play. Um, one of those mass changes later on if he decides to go for it He's gonna go ahead and add again the divine sword He goes again activates another mass change unfortunately dark law just doesn't have enough attack But he attacks into dropping the honest neos for enough to attack over the monster and uh, his opponent just has a Scoldy, but he's got the Goki rematch. So the boys are coming back. He's only got 600 life points left uh, But it's gonna get its attack reduced by the hug bear uh, unfortunately and uh Dark Lot, not too strong at 1200 right now, and he's just gonna go ahead and attack him for a 4000 Goki Twist Cobra. I, I thought the replay was really hype, uh, even though he didn't make it with the W, but I just really liked it. Alright, so uh, this one up, uh, this next one up over here, I, I'm not sure uh, what this other guy was really trying to do, going for like a, a, a gravity variant of the Odyssey. I think just the magicians are, are like all you need. He was putting some magicians in here, but for the most part, once you make like a Dark Lot turn one, that deck goes very minus. At least that's how I feel uh, up against. Um, Dark Law, like the, the deck, like destroying your own cards, you get a search one, but then you go minus one for the search, and the other card obviously goes away because uh, Dark Law is a pretty cool card. <laughs> Anyways, he makes Vision here Trinity. There were some uh, interesting plays here that I, I just don't think I would have done myself. Uh, however, uh, you, you, you had a card that had like so much attack. Now, uh, with Astrograph's effect, it does have the effect where if uh, a card you control is destroyed by battle um, or by card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand, and then it has another effect. That's not the one I wanted though. Um, you can banish this card, you control plus four monsters, I don't know, okay, there's that one, that's, just, that's Supreme King's Yark, never mind, completely different card I was thinking of, uh, anyways, he's got a 3,600 militias because the Honest Neos was there, uh, but he's gonna go ahead and make a Vision Hero Adoration, so this one, uh, it's kinda like the Hug Bear, essentially, but you target one face-up monster your opponent controls, and another hero monster you control, the opponent's targeted monster loses attack and defense equal to the attack of the targeted monster until the end of the turn. It, it was used a lot of times as a stepping stone, but... Uh, uh, again, at this point, it's, it's not looking too good for a guy playing the Magicians. He didn't even make a Dark Law over here, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and add, and at this point, it's pretty much just going to be game over. But it was just another, like, uh, way for you guys to make some of the, uh, combos, just to give you guys some variety in here, even though the point didn't really put up too much of a fight. But thank you, Leon Senpai, for showcasing up, uh, your hero deck. I really like, again, some of the more obscure heroes. Uh, this one was, uh, actually used, I believe, in, a, in another one. Uh, a, a duel where it lets you draw some cards. I just I just found it to be a little bit uh, too conditional uh, for my like. Oh no, I'm sorry. It was Celestials the the, the draw one. Uh, this one makes it so uh, level six or higher monsters uh, your opponent controls cannot target this card for attacks. And then um, you'll use the following effect of it once per duel. So if it's normal or special, you get to add a hero monster from your graveyard to your hand during the end phase. And the other effect is during either player's turn when a card effect is active, they will inflict damage to you while it's in your graveyard. You get to bounce it back to your hand and reduce that damage. So, like, uh, randomly cowboy, if you're cowboy for game, you say no, and then you get to add back the card. Uh, this one we didn't see. Okay. But Celestial, it was uh, it was uh, technically a card that some people were using uh, before. I just don't like it. I'll, I'll go over the effect when we go over it. But anyways, if any of you guys are interested in the, the deck profile that you guys saw, this is the build that he was running. Uh, like I said, I would make some changes personally, and I'll get into some of those, and I'll I'll talk a little about that but anyways first off we got the one elm tier honest uh, neos uh it's a really good card it, it's really good with shadows uh there's a lot of uh ocg players that still to just play uh heroes and this is an excellent card just like the shadows turn one but now you have a lot more options obviously with the new uh solid band because he just lets you special some of the shadows and then that lets you go for anything else that you want to go for it's really good stuff uh but next up we're playing three malicious this is really allows you to go into your uh, Link monsters much easier. Time and time again, you saw him um, use it as material for whether it was a Soul Day or again uh, for Skuldi, and then on top of that with a Hero Kid. So these are basically just smaller monsters that you're just getting free cards uh, from. And if you draw some of them, don't worry. If you can make a Skuldi, you can reset it. Next up, Celestial over here. So uh, whenever this card declares an attack, you target one face-up, spell card your opponent controls, and destroy it, and then you get a burn for 500. But the most important effect is uh, actually... 
Uh, while you have no cards in your hand, except for the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you get to banish it and a Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard and draw two cards. You can activate this effect once per turn, but that's a really cool effect, letting you uh, just draw two extra cards. It is con kind of conditional. Uh, it's not a card I personally would like to run, but uh, it's in his build if you want to try it out. I mean, it has clutch moments. Uh, but uh, anyways, next up we have the Destiny Hero Decider. Uh, Destiny Hero Decider, I already went over its effect. It's the one where uh, six uh, or higher can't target for attacks, but if they would do burn damage, uh, it does allow you to stop that and add it from your graveyard to your hand. And then if it's normal summon, you can just add a hero monster from your graveyard. I just feel like this card's too slow. I, I just, I don't really recommend this card. Uh, again, feel free to run it. Uh, again, this was the original one uh, that was in the deck profile. But uh, next up, three copies of Solomon. I think this is like staple in heroes now. It's just such a good card, especially with uh, three copies of Shadow Mist. I also did want to mention that uh, it's a very popular card people play in OCG uh, is Summoner Monk. And it's at three in the... Uh, TCG and in the OCG it's at two, I guess. Oh, they actually I think it was at one at one point. Um, it might have changed, uh, but anyways, this card is really good because it allows you to go for Shadow Mist. But this card gets to fuck once normal or specials. You just go go cards for days, man. Uh, with uh, you know Shadow Mist obviously lets you add two, so it, like it's good. Uh, it also technically is in dark, so some of the more obscure like uh, cards you can make that are in the extra deck might be. Uh, of ease because of Summoner Monk. But sometimes one thing I wanted to mention with Summoner Monk when you go Summoner Monk into Shadow Mist, um, Summoner Monk doesn't really do anything. It's not like a hero, so it doesn't really help out. Um, I was also considering, uh, because there's so many darks in this, is to play things like our Lure of Dark, to just bump up the counts of some other things, throw the allures in, and you can just make this deck ultra, ultra consistent. That's my, again, that's my, my suggestion. Uh, that's probably how I would build it. You know, in fact, I'm probably going to be streaming uh, this week. If you guys aren't following me, me over at Twitch. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box. You guys can go ahead and follow me. I'll probably be playing this and I'll also be continuing my playthrough of Duel Links, which I will be uploading very soon. But uh, anyways, uh, we're talking about uh, Summoner Monk. Yeah, I, I, would, I would max out the Summoner Monk, the Lord of Darkness. I, I just want to make the deck go super, super fast and obviously add more consistency to the deck. First turn Dark Law is like just game breaking sometimes. It's just uh, your opponent just quits <laughs> because it stops some of the hand traps that they could be using. It can stop a lot of different things. But anyways, next up, uh, we're at uh, two Shadow Mist. I, like I said, I would have maxed out on Shadow Mist. And then uh, three copies of Vision Hero Vion. So Vion has that effect where if it's normal or special, you get to send a hero monster from your deck to the graveyard. Usually it's going to be this, but you can go for this to add whatever you want. And then you can continue your combos, whether it's D-draws or those kinds of things. They have two copies of Bubble Man. Um, I, I would almost say, like, sometimes it's okay to run Mass Hero Acid. Um acid uh, over here it, it is a card that you can tactically use uh, with some of the mass changers but um, anyways yeah it lets you destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls there's also mass change second which we don't have in here uh, mask change uh, is, okay they actually call it number two in the OCG yeah this one's actually at one in the OCG just because it's so popular um, it lets you discard a card which can actually be pretty good in this deck because well uh, hero kids not the greatest <laughs> card sometimes it, it is technically a card that you can put back with scoldy but i just wanted to mention it it's like it's so strong like i i, I would suggest playing it i mean it's at one in ocg for reasons it, basically there's a lot of otks with that card especially with the, the uh light um card the mass hero code there's a lot of combinations with that um obviously in this one there's not very many lights but you guys get the idea you can otk pretty easy when you change into it. especially with now with the dn combo uh, again with the uh solid man which lets you get back the shadow mist but uh, anyways we're at uh vion double bulb man uh, that's why i mentioned the acid if you want to um, play that uh three hero kids uh this card can be a little bit strange again if you make scoldy then it's totally fine which obviously you have pretty easy consistency with it but i just it's like reborn tango man you don't want to draw too many but at least with this you can reset some of them next up we're playing um one infernal prodigy so if you control the monsters you get to just spot summon it uh, and then also during the end phase uh if you tributed this card this turn you get to uh to tribute a hero monster you're gonna draw a card uh you're probably not gonna be using that effect it's just just another stepping stone card it's a level uh two monster uh but yeah that's pretty much the point of that guy and the next up destiny and dreamer actually saved him from taking some damage it's kind of like the uh, battle fader if you will of the deck um sorry my mouth was getting dry anyways uh so um, uh, whenever they would, uh, target a, uh, Destiny Hero monster, you get to special summon it, and then, uh, make that monster not be destroyed by battle, and then also you take no battle damage, and then, uh, also, whenever it, uh, it, um, 
it goes away, it uh, gets banished uh, when it leaves the field. But yeah, it's just another like stepping stone card, and it is a level one, so and they'll have a chance that you like you need to go for it. Obviously, uh, this card can be a thing. Uh, well, it, just, it, it is another target technically. If if you maybe have gone through your hero kids or something like that. Next up, that we have two e calls, and then like Rota is basically the same thing uh, for the most part. And then we have the Raigeki. We have Legacy of a Hero, so it's kind of like a comeback card. It's return two of your fusion monsters uh, from your graveyard to the extract that lists a hero, and then you can draw three cards. <laughs> Pot of Greed. Get on this card's level. Better than Pot of Greed. Next up, we're playing three copies of Classic Poly. That's crazy. Like I said, I, I, just, I just prefer to run like the mass changes. I just feel like in the battle phase, like if anything goes wrong with some of the, the plays that you make, you can be at a loss. So like I just like the idea of having mass changes. Again, it's just because it to me, it's more consistent. You can try it out if you want. You can also try out Blazeman. That was a thing that people were running in OCG too. Um, anyways, next up, three copies of Destiny Draw. One mask uh, charge. So it lets you add a hero monster and a quick... Uh, play spell card. I just feel like a lot of these cards are like rebuttal cards, which are cards you've used uh, already previously to make a play, and like you can OTK really easy in Heroes, and again, it's just a slower uh, uh, build of the deck, I would say. Um, but I mean, you can go for some plays and then, you know, mass change and go for other things. Uh, keep in mind, I think it's this one. Um, one of the, um, you can only activate, well, okay, it's mass change second that you can only activate one of them per turn. This one, um, I believe doesn't have that restriction, okay. Uh, yeah, but that, that's this one in the OCG, it is at, at three. Okay, it, it just makes the deck so much better. Like I said, I, I, I personally like this card a lot. Um, and then we got two copies of Pot of Acquisitiveness. Uh, that is to reset your malice, technically. The uh, other card, the Dreamer, does also get banished. But, uh, yeah, you could reset your Malicious. It's, it, I mean, Malicious is pretty easy to use over and over again. Uh, you could also run Burrow from a different dimension. If you wanted to do that, you could put back some of the cards. Um, I've seen people try that. I, you could heck, you could run Dark Arm Dragon. I don't know. I've, I have a lot of ideas for this deck with like just running Dark Arm. I would make this deck like an OTK only deck. Uh, but uh, anyways, next up we have Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade, and of course Refusion. And both of these cards are uh, for Isolde, um, uh, obviously. But anyways, for the extra deck, uh, he played one DN, one Dystopia. We didn't see Dystopia, but Dystopia actually works really well with Phoenix, but I actually just covered that. Uh, I'm going to leave a uh, video link down below in the description box, and uh, it'll be kind of like, a, 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 there's a repeat of some of the stuff in this deck, but however, this is, uh, the video like that I'm mentioning does not have solid men, so some of the combo plays are actually really good. There's a lot of other like obscure hero cards that no one really plays, uh, but I like to see variety in Yu-Gi-Oh, so uh, it, there was some other obscure cards in there. Anyways, Dystopia, uh, it just makes it so when there's a difference and it's like uh, a base attack it's to uh get rid of something during either player's turn really cool uh, i believe it's this one right it's oh gosh I mean, before it's like the wrong destiny hero yeah uh, uh what is it during either player's turn yeah if this card's current attack different from the okay except for during damage stuff basically it lets you get rid of a, one of your opponent's cards and uh and that's during either player's turn really strong stuff and as long as his attack is different than its original attack which, against that Goki deck, it would have actually been pretty good. Uh, anyways, next up, uh, uh, Dion, Adoration, Anki, Trinity, Koga, Dark Law, Gaia, Dangerous. Uh, then we have one Skuldi, two copies of Extra Hero, and two copies of Isolde. Um, good stuff, indeed. Also, uh, one thing that the OCG technically has that I'm hoping that, like, when we get our new list, hopefully soon, where is that list? Um, super, is it Super Dash Poly? Is it a, is it, is Super Polymerization one word? Um, is it super dash poly? Oh, well, super polymerization. Um, like, there's not that many poly cards, is there? Uh, but super polymerization is at uh, one still in the OG. I'm hoping we get it because it lets us make a lot of these just obscure things that require like a certain element. Uh, I think that that's, that card's cool. Again, it does open up the deck to have more OTK potential, but I mean, I, I personally, I, I, I like it when heroes are good. I think heroes should, always should be kind of like that deck that it, it's always kind of there. It's, it's, it doesn't really have that feel in the TCG that it does in the OCG. And that's why they always, they always make heroes just viable. I don't know. It's one of the most... Uh, like fan favorite in decks, but uh, anyways, uh, now as far as my suggestions, like I said, Master Chain Second. Uh, if you're playing an OG, you're obviously Super Poly, like you're probably already running that, anyways. Uh, just because it's just it's a great card, it's just like it's too fast because no one could respond to it. Spell speed, don't care. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let me know, guys, what you would change with it. Like I said, um, 
A lot of the other cards were just kind of used as stepping stones uh, for other things. I, I, I feel like you could potentially like drop guy. Deanna is obviously really good. I, I, I highly recommend that card. But I feel like some of the other cards, you can swap in and out depending on you know what you want to do with the deck. Uh, and if you want to play Hero Kid or not, obviously this makes uh, Scoldy and it, it can open up your uh, dead draws uh, more often. But like I said, I'll be playing Alert of Darknesses. I'll definitely be streaming my, my hero build later this week. But thanks again. I uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, for uh, you sending in the replays, uh, Mr. Leon Senpai. So shout out to you, homie. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the vid. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to see more Hero Decks in action.